Two weeks back on campus at a few hours at a time and a student at Granite Hills High School has tested positive for COVID-19. Kasha Gorgorczyk is live in El Cajon with what this means for students and staff. Kasha. Good evening, Kathleen. Well, seven families have been notified as having close contact with this student that has coronavirus. Now, while those seven students and their teacher will need to stick to distance learning for the next 14 days, the school here will remain open. Just shy of two weeks into providing some on campus learning for students at Granite Hills High School, the Grossmont Union High School District is confirming a student has tested positive for COVID-19. I'm still good with him going to school. If he's comfortable going to school, then I'm comfortable with him going to school. Don Flores has a ninth grader at Granite Hills and has been in favor of students having the option to go back for the families that are willing. I am totally happy that's being offered because there's some kids that are you know, mentally they need all the stimulation that they can get out of the home. At the school district's current level of reopening, 25% of students are allowed back on campus for one day a week. In a letter from Granite Hills principal Mike Fowler, he says that will continue. As a result of the COVID-19 case, seven students will be suspending their in-person learning for the next 14 days. I would just guess that they know what they're doing and so hopefully that's going to be good enough, but I know it's not going to be the last one that happens, but we'll just deal with it as it comes. And just last week, the district announced a positive coronavirus uh, case with a staff member at West Hills High School, also here in the district. Again, that was last week. That staff member and those students also are having their in-person learning suspended for the next 14 days. Reporting live in El Cajon tonight, Kasha Gregorczyk, Fox 5 News. Kasha, thanks.